Hello, I'm 4Beats and this is my 1 plus 3. One series that's behind us that maybe we're checking out again. Three upcoming bangers that need to be on your radar. Let's check out this past match. Undying versus Black and Yellow. Game 2 of this matchup featured a classic, Eternal Envy turnaround that furthers the point that no matter how good you think you are, you can't underestimate this Black and Yellow lineup. Envy and the boys brought this game back from the brink with their decision to go throne in a situation where other teams I think would have faltered and gone for mega creeps. I think it was mainly just us throwing and uh, not clicking our buttons properly and stuff like that. But I think the envy factor in that game was that they won a fight. They just decided, you know, let's either win this game right now or we or we lose it. And I think that's the, like that's the reason why they won it because we were missing buyback on on Tamado. Yeah, so I, I think that's the envy factor, you know, going all in. Unfortunately for Black and Yellow, they weren't able to close it out, meaning that we'll be watching their upcoming series with great interest to see if they can avoid a dreaded bottom two finish. For Undying, it means that they were able to fend off one of the most deceptively challenging foes this season. Now on to next week's matches. Quincy Crew versus Evil Geniuses. Now let me bring up some names to you. Secret, Fnatic, Virtus Pro, Alliance, Beast Coast. You know what they all have in common? None of these teams have technically taken a match off of EG this year, but there is one team that has. And of course, I'm talking about good old Quinn Callahan and the boys over at Quincy Crew. They were the only team in the division to take a game off of EG last season, and they're hungry to do it again. Last season's match proved that there wasn't just one S-tier team in the region, and Quincy Crew was one of them. Both teams will be fighting to maintain their undefeated streak so far. Given the history of these two teams, I think it might be fair to say that we might have a little, I don't know, rivalry on our hands? <laughs> I mean, truthfully, I don't, I don't really see any specific rivalry between us. I don't, I don't think there's some hardcore rivalry in terms of like we really want to destroy each other because we hate each other. Regardless, this is shaping up to be one of the most exciting matchups we've seen all season. Evil Geniuses versus Undying, the Underdogs versus the Giants of NA Dota. But at this point, is it even fair to refer to Undying as an underdog? Um, I'd say so, yeah. Unlike Quincy Crew, they weren't able to take a match off of EG last season. However, they did take a match off of Quincy Crew last season, meaning they beat the team that beat EG. However, when they faced off against both teams again in the tiebreaker last season, they were beaten by both teams. What does it all mean? Simply put, a win here would all but guarantee Undying a slot at the Major. But on top of that, it would elevate them from underdog status to potential best in the region status. I think if we win, we probably qualify the TI and we qualify the Major and uh, yeah, it's pretty big. It would mean a lot for sure. Simply two based versus four zoomers. Buckle up goons, it's time for a grudge Watch match. Me. Any Dota historians may remember that Monkeys Forever used to babysit the four Zoomers before he was brutally torn away from the boys that he fostered and cared for by one Brax Dota. This is his chance to finally get back at those that betrayed him. The Dota map is our courtroom, and Dakota Cox is our Mari Povich for what is shaping up to be the grudge match of the century. Do Zoomers even know who Mori Povich is? Who's writing this? The untethered rage that both these teams have for each other will finally be unleashed for all to see. This blood runs deep. It's just for fun, really. Like like all of Zoomers, they're all great people. I am really excited to play with them, though. You know, much love to Monkeys, much love to the two base guys, so. Okay, so maybe not. But you gotta believe that they're going to be putting just a little bit more Sriracha on this matchup, even if it's purely psychological. So there you have it. No matter how it shakes out, this grudge match will surely be one for the ages. I'm 4Beats, and that was my 5 plus 6.